Hi, how are you? Today what I'm going to talk about are the differences between two softwares, Guitar Pro and Tux Guitar. Now these guitar tab softwares where you can write your six line tabs uh, and you can also write the standard notation. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well actually Guitar Pro came before this one. So I guess this is a chicken and that's the egg. Well, actually the egg has also grown into a chicken. So this this one can do a lot of the things that that one can do but actually it can't do everything and i would like to explain some of those things but first of all i want to give you the advantages of tux guitar number one is it's free and the second one is it will play the same files that guitar pro creates third one is it has a speed trainer and, and this is really useful if you take a file of a piece of music that you're trying to learn and you slow it down and then you have it have it keep repeating that where each time it gets a little bit quicker so that's a speed trainer these both have that and i want to give you some examples now on the computer screen about the disadvantages of tux guitar over guitar pro now you might think that if this is free and that's paid for then obviously that one's going to be the best because you don't have to pay for it well it's not quite that simple because if you think about your time whether you are a professional musician or you're uh, just a hobbyist it makes no difference your time is valuable so by using guitar pro i think you will find that you will use less time uh, and i'm going to explain those things so here are the disadvantages of tux guitar so number one disadvantage of Tux is it lags. When you put a file in Guitar Pro or you put the same file into Tux, when you start to play it, there is a noticeable lag. And number two is it puts out bad MIDI. If you want to export a file from Guitar Pro or from uh, Tux Guitar into a MIDI file so that you can use it in some other software, what I found is that the lag that Tux Guitar has actually runs over into the MIDI file. So number three, it doesn't look as good. Tux Guitar does not look as good as Guitar Pro in the interface. The music doesn't look that good. And because of that, the printouts and the PDF files that it produces also look kind of dated. The next point is standard notation is only possible by clicking with a mouse using Tux Guitar. Now in Guitar Pro, when you're doing standard notation, I have another video on this, by the way, you can actually select a line and you can go up and down with the arrow keys and uh, you can use the numbers to decide which string the notes will be played on. So it has those, this has those more sophisticated features, which I like because uh, many times I'm using standard notation. I like to write in standard notation rather than the tab, although I, I do use both. So next point is Guitar Pro has four voices, whereas Tux only has two voices. What that means is when you're writing the music, you could have one line where a note sustains and you could have an arpeggio going on underneath it. And, and you can give those note values separate, separate note values. Um, now, for most cases, I think for the stuff that I write, I only use two voices, but there's sometimes where you want to have a bass note and you want to have a top note and then the middle notes with different uh, note durations. So there are some cases where that's a limitation. Here's another big one, no pickup measures. What that means is if you have a piece of music that starts on, it doesn't start on the count of one, it might start on the count of three, have, having a pickup measure, you can not do that in tux guitar. You would have to have some rests in front. Whereas in Guitar Pro, you can kind of suppress that. It suppresses the first part of it. So that's another disadvantage. Uh, and you, it means that when you write some music, it doesn't look as good. So number eight is Guitar Pro sounds a lot better than Tux Guitar. And that's because of the sound banks that it has in Guitar Pro. And you may think that's not that important, but if you're practicing something, you're playing along with something, it's a bit more inspiring if you've got something that's more realistic to, or more closer to the instrument that you're, you're playing the track for. What I'm gonna show you now in two desktops that I have open on the screen are uh, the differences between 
how Guitar Pro plays and Tux Guitar plays the same piece of music. Now this is a piece of music incidentally that I wrote and I'm going to be playing this in a future video on guitar. This is how it sounds when it's played in first of all Guitar Pro. Now here are the things to look out for and it's basically four of the points that I, I covered on the board. One is the lag. Notice the lag. Secondly, uh, it doesn't look as good. And uh, the other point is uh, there are no pickup measures. Right here you see that there are no rests in front of these three notes in this pickup measure. And lastly, it doesn't sound as good. So here we go. Here's how it sounds, first of all, in Guitar Pro. Okay, so that's how that goes. So now what I'm going to do is I will switch over to Tux Guitar and this is how it plays in Tux Guitar. So here we go, Tux Guitar. So that lag or that, that unevenness of the sound, maybe something to do with how it translates the files, I don't know, but there's definitely, it's not really playing this the way it's written, and it's actually not written the way I had, pl I had written it in Guitar Pro. And you'll notice here that that pickup measure, there is a rest in front of the, the pickup notes. Now let me show you in Mixcraft, which is a recording software, how I imported MIDI files from both Guitar Pro and from Tux Guitar. And the top one is from Guitar Pro, and the bottom one is from Tux. Now the strange thing is that the, the top one from Guitar Pro, this finishes here, but the Tux one goes on, it extends. And there is a reason for that, that the timing is messed up. And have a listen. So the first one, I've got the I've got the um, I've got the tux muted in this one. So this is how Guitar Pro sounds. Okay. Now let's try. I'm going to mute that one. And then I'm going to unmute the tux. So this is how tux sounds. Now what seems to have happened is the way it's translated the file is how it played inside of Tuck, and that's what it puts out as a MIDI file, and it's not right. You know, you get what you pay for, and if you get something for free, and uh, you really don't have much to complain about. So these are the disadvantages of Tux Guitar, and if you really don't have money, Tux Guitar is great, and if you don't think that these are important, it's great. Go for it, and, and you can also play guitar profiles but if you want to do something a bit more serious and uh, professional guitar pro is your answer so i hope you find that useful i have a few other videos on guitar pro and tux and if you like the content of this channel please subscribe and and you'll get informed whenever anything new comes out and if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it then let me know hit the don't like button and as i always say Stay tuned and I will look forward to seeing you soon.